No, not you. I got all happy. Oh, no. Don't tear it worse. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's pretend like we're doing a magic right before those. Yeah. 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 So, um, you know, a lot of, one of the problems I see was, was being able to, let's get you to come on close. One of the problems I see was kind of your guys is uh, stop, stop with the run. Um, what lessons did you learn specifically last year that uh, you made it a point to, to improve on by the time fall camp came around? Football starts with the run game and starts with the run defense. And obviously you could see in our record, we did not do that very well, which led to a bunch of other problems. Uh, being the main emphasis of camp coming in, it is absolutely the top thing on our list that we have to get done as a run defense, and that's our main focus. And then after that, the pass defense comes, especially with a lot of very skilled corners and Jay Poe out in the side. But as run defense, it's almost it's a lot on the D line and that front seven. So now, what specifically? Um are you guys working on here in camp to, to make sure that you guys do bounce back? It is. It. I mean, if you ran the defense perfectly every time, then you'd make a play every time. So it's back to the fundamentals. It's back to the basics and even just where our charges are supposed to be and where we're supposed to fit our hands and not overplaying something and trusting your teammates that they're going to be where they're supposed to be. Do you think, uh, you know, a couple guys have mentioned um, kind of cohesiveness and togetherness is maybe a sort of uh, a root cause of some of the issues last year. Do you feel, do you agree with that? And do you think that um, your guys' you know, cohesiveness has improved? Absolutely. Um, when the whole thing I was just saying, like, you need to trust your buddy that he's going to be there at the same time, that has, that has a lot to do with, like, knowing the person and getting in and getting in, like, work with them day in and day out. And... Last year we had a bunch of young guys that didn't really know each other, and you could tell like in camp our defense is much much closer together and more of a unit, which really transfers over to how our run stop and our pass stop. Only. Now speaking of getting together, you guys did have a, a team bonding movie over the weekend, uh, the campaign. What was your impressions of the film? Will Ferrell, Will Ferrell movies are always good, and so. I mean, I like those kind of movies. I thought it was definitely a good one to see. Now, I, I was, I've been asking some of the guys if, if you know, they could pick out anybody on the roster who they think, man, if football doesn't work out, yeah, they could maybe run for a campaign. And you've been mentioned two times. Uh, politics in the future, Dylan Wayne? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think guys are, are, are picking you out? Because you like to get out there and have fun? I'm a pretty noisy person. So, and I'm, I mean, I'm good at lying, I guess. <laughs> Uh, what about you? Do you have? Uh, do you think any other guys uh, would maybe make one uh, good campaign mate one day? I'd have to go with a quarterback, Sean Manning. Why do you say that? Because he's Sean. He knows how to talk to people. Um, getting back to, uh, to to the run, I know you and Scott had you know really stood out last year, and you guys have been getting some individual attention um, you know this season. Has that uh, affected you in any way? Pushed you at all? Yeah, um, we tend to try to not think about it, but obviously it is it is prevalent in our day-to-day -day lives, and it's definitely you don't want to have that like sophomore slump, as some people have put it. But really, there is no room for that slump, I view, because we just didn't do well last year at all, and it is absolutely imperative that we step up and actually, as a D-line, as a whole D-line, really lead the defense because it all starts with that front. So. Now, last thing before I let you go, it's, it's getting hot here in Oregon. A little heat wave creeping in. It's supposed to get up mid-90s, especially here on this field, soaking up the heat. Uh, what are you guys doing to uh, have you changed? Have you changed anything up with, with these two-a-days? And are the ice baths now your favorite part of the day? Uh, everyone, uh, our new, we just got new ice bath facilities and all that. So, I mean, it's almost like a pool party in there already. But the heat, I mean, it's not something that can affect you. Everyone just hydrates a bunch. And when it comes out of the hot, uh, hot heat and stuff like this, Coach Joe says it's blizzard outside. Just ignore it and you love it. So that's our mentality.